I'm Rakti Hawa Brakatha Yahawasha Rakti Hawa Brakatha Yahawasha Bahashan Rakakwadash Double honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. Lesson will be entitled Grace Verse A Covenant. Lord, will you are edified? Genesis 6 and 1. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them. These men is referring to these men from these other nations. That the sons of the Most High, who later became Israelites, saw the daughters of men that they were fair meaning these women from the other nations were beautiful and they took them wives of all which they chose and the lord yahweh said my spirit shall not always strive with man for that he also is flesh yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years so at this time frame you see Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah began to cut man's lifespan to 120 years. Verse 4 There were giants in the earth in those days, meaning the sons of the Most High procreated with these women from the other nations and their sons, okay, which were sons of the Most High, who later became Israelites, were very famous, okay? They were extremely famous, case in point like a Tiger Woods, okay, or The Rock. I think um, both individuals, of course, fathers are Israelites. However, their mothers are women of the other nations. <laughs> right back into the scripture. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that were the sons of the Most High came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them. The same became mighty men, which were of old men of renown. Verse 5, And the Most High saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord Yahweh that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord Yahweh said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air. For it repented, repenteth me that I have made them. Verse 8. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord Yahweh. And that's a major focal point for this lesson. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord Yahweh. So what is grace? According to the Hebrew, Strong's H2580 pronounced as Hana, Hana, which means favor, okay, grace, charm. So another term for grace is favor or mercy, okay? And According to the Hebrew for Noah, which means Strong's H fifty one forty six pronounces Naka Naka, okay. Or, let's go into the origin. 
Yup. Strong's age 51, 18. Pronounced as Nawaka. Nawak. Or Nawak. Which means resting place. All right. So, Noah was a resting place for his family. Okay. Now, remember, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, found Noah to be a righteous man. And therefore, he gave Noah what? Grace. Right? Gave him mercy from what? The first death. And therefore, by default, Noah, because of this grace, all right, became a resting place for his wife as well as his three sons and their wives. All right? Point blank period. So, grace is nothing but mercy or favor. Let's go to Ecclesiasticus chapter 44 and 17. Noah was found perfect and righteous in the time of wrath. He was taken in exchange for the world. Therefore, was he left as a remnant unto the earth when the flood came. And the reason why he was left a remnant unto the earth is because Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, gave him mercy, gave him grace, okay, which is nothing but favor, all right, so favor is nothing but grace or mercy, a salakia, let me change that, grace is nothing but favor or mercy, Genesis 17 and 1. And when Abram, now Abram later became Abraham, was 90 years old and nine, the Lord Yahweh appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am the almighty power. Walk before me and be you perfect, meaning regulate your lifestyle by the standard of mine. Obeying the laws, statutes, and the commandments. Verse 2, and I will make my covenant between me and you and will multiply you exceedingly. Let's focus on covenant according to the Hebrew. <laughs> All right, for a covenant, Strong's H1285, pronounced as Barah Yath. Barayath, which means what? Covenant alliance between men, between the Most High and man. So what was between the Most High and man? What was between Yahweh and Abram, who later became Abraham? An agreement, okay? So a covenant is nothing but an agreement, and grace is nothing but favor and mercy. A major focal point. Grace was established before the first and the second covenant. Verse 3. And Abraham slaked him. And Abram fell on his face, and the Most High talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with you, and you shall be a father of many nations. So the agreement until what? And you shall be a father of many nations. Okay. Neither shall your name any more be called Abram, 
but your name shall be Abraham, for a father of many nations have I made you, verse 6, and I will make you exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations of you, and kings shall come out of you. These kings refer to what? The 12 tribes. All right. Now, Abraham is also classified as the father of the promise. And this agreement trickled down from uh, from Abraham to Isaac to Jacob, trickling down to the 12 sons. Okay. Verse seven. And I will establish my covenant between me and you and your seed after you and their generations for an everlasting covenant, okay? Meaning always ongoing. To be a power unto you and to your seed after you. Now, do you see the difference between grace and a covenant? Ephesians 1 and 1, Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shammashiach, by the will of the Most High, to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, grace be to you and peace from the Most High, our Father, and from the Lord Yahweh Shammashiach. Verse 3, blessed be the Most High, and Father of our Lord, Yahweh Mashiach, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Mashiach. Verse 4, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. So, the elect of Israel, beginning with the 144,000, was chosen. To be faithful, okay, towards Yahweh Shah, and this was the will of the Most High, all right, and this is another example of grace, all right. Grace was before the first and the second covenant, you can't get around that. Verse 4, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world to be chosen, okay, is the most high exercising what to the elect? Grace, favor, and mercy that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption. Adoption means what? Chosen of sons by Yahweh Shah Mashiach to himself according to the good according to the good pleasure of his will. Again, grace was before both agreements. And we also can use this example how the Most High predestined the elect to believe in Yahweh Shah because it was within his will because he was given what he was showing grace which is nothing but favor and mercy Okay. Lord, will you are edified? Shalom.